Hi guys, part of PA Brew News back again in the Gettysburg hotel room. Just got back from swimming and all that good stuff. Time for another beer from the Tattered Flag Brewing Company from Middletown, Pennsylvania, but from their Gettysburg tap room. This is inexplicably juicy India Pale Ale. Don't know what's coming in on as far as ABV goes. Gave it the roll because I don't know what it looks like. Let's crack it open and see the juiciness. This is an ale made with natural flavors. Well, this is falling over. At least it didn't fall, 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 fall over. It's just kind of falling over. So we'll see if maybe we can keep you vertical. Nope, nope. Every time I shake the table, I think it's doing it. Well, it's definitely full. Definitely a full can. Now, the artwork is pretty cool. You can see some crazy ass artwork on there. King Kong kind of thing. The abominable snowman. Hops going crazy. Basically, the, the hop driven by the plane, or the hop is driving the plane, running into the monster. The, and the monster is eating the airplane. Let's say up to the light. Nice little haze for days kind of action going on, for sure. Let's get an aroma on this one. That is an odd, odd flavor. That's an odd flavor. It's like blueberries. It's um. See if I can bring it back up a little bit. Since it got fallen, did did down, did did did. It reminds me of something like banana and blueberries. A little bit of a juicy fruit bubble gum kind of quality. It definitely got a blueberry vibe. Just a very odd, odd, odd flavor. Not a bad flavor, just a different flavor. So, cheers. Hashtag proper glassware. Yo. Definitely has this kind of blueberry vibe going on. There's not much else going on except for the blueberry vibe, though. It's a little light. Not much, not much going on except this blueberry vibe. I don't know. No real earthy bitterness, nothing. Just blueberry. Weird, like a weird muted blueberry that I just cannot put my finger on. I don't know if I like it. It's different. Some people will like it better than others. I think, I just have a feel, I just have a thing where if you're gonna make a beer that's unequivocal, like this that's just different you should put more information so I'm trying to read anything it's like it's, it's weird like the muted it's like a strawberry blue blueberry it's more like a blueberry though but like a strawberry blueberry kind of vibe there's nothing else though that's the thing that's bothering there's nothing else happening Yeah, there's nothing else going on in the beer that should be in an IPA, if you know what I mean. So um, that's why I was like, you know, just put a little bit more information down just because it's going to be a polarizing beer. You're either going to love it or you hate it because most people that want an IPA want citrusy kind of qualities, you know what I mean? Like a grapefruit, pungent, ripe, piffy, juicy. And you get this, and you're like, what the fuck am I drinking? You know what I mean? <laughs> it's one of those kind of deals. <clears throat> When you said it's not a bad beer, it's just it's gonna be polarizing.
It reminds me, now that I think of it, the smell and the taste. It reminds me of Captain Captain Crunch with the berries in it. Those little colorful purple berries in the Captain Crunch. That's what that's what it's reminding me of. That kind of mixed berry uh, flavor in the Captain Crunch. That's what it, that's what it's reminding me of. It's not bad. It's not bad. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna throw it down to the solid category because, like I said, it's gonna be a polarizing beer for sure. It's okay. I'm not having a problem with it. It's a little bit thin. It doesn't have anything kind of like. It's not multi-dimensional. It's very monodimensional. You know what I mean? But, uh, you know, it's drinkable. So there you go. I'm going to give it a 7.5 for the inex inexplicably juicy IPA. Oh, there it goes. It finally fell down. Right at the end. It finally fell down right at the end. But that's fine. Well, anyway, this has been Paul from Paper News. Cheers. Bye-bye. I can't keep this thing up. <laughs> Watch that finger.